You know, when it comes to Bible prophecy and looking around the world and seeing things happen, we always try to use the things that we see, the likes of earthquakes and famines and wars and rumours of wars. We look to the stuff that's easy to see as the signs of the coming of Christ or coming to the crescendo of things. But there's one sign, one thing in particular that I've seen happen kind of over the last 40, 50 years in society alone, which really shows me we're coming very, very close. You know, when Jesus talks about himself coming back or those times that we talk about, the end times, he used the times of Noah, the times of Lot, and something was happening in those times for ancient Israel, even around um, the time of Lot. Um, there was things that are happening that we're seeing happening today, but so much worse. We're seeing things starting to escalate. What I wanted to do was to open the eyes to show you exactly what I mean um, by this happening. To give you an insight to the reason why I believe we're very, very close. Like always, what I asked you to do was to watch it unfold to get the full context. But remember to smash the like button so that someone who's never known Christ may actually come to an understanding of who he is, even by seeing the things that are happening in the world. First off, we see Jonathan Cannon, and what he says about what I call the Dark Trinity and the things that are happening in the U.S. will really open your eyes. Have a listen. Possessor. The second one's called, the second one um, is the Enchantress, the Enchantress, and the third one is called the Destroyer. And this is where it goes because when you, you start with you start with it turning away, then you have sex. It always happens this way: sexuality. All that. Then you get to the third one, which is the Principality by which they offered up their children. Parents offered their children as sacrifices. Um, that was part of the pagan world. That was, it was not safe to be a child in the pagan world. Children were abused, they were sexualized, and they were killed, and humans were, were sacrificed. So this is all over that. And by the way, when you look at Jeremiah, I mean, he says, you're gonna be judged, Israel, because of what you did to your children. Well, so what it's saying, and the, the warning of Jesus is, you know, we could call him Molech, which right. actually means king, but they offered up their children. These are people right. who once knew God God, they're offering up their children. So what it means is that as America goes and the West goes, it's going to start offering up its children. And that's exactly what happens. You have, when you get to the end of the 60s, 1970, we begin offering up our children in abortion. And you know, it's a sad statistic. We see this happening in the U.S. and all over the world. It's not just the U.S., but things have escalated morally in society so much it's so hard to keep up with. And today in 2024, it's even worse. We're seeing an absolute decay in society. People are not just not wanting God, but people are wanting to do whatever their heart's desires let them. They have an absolute, um, no inkling in terms of the family. They don't want the family. It's been broken down and we see in governments it's happening all over the world. But when it comes to those, what they call the dark trinity and the gods, uh, that they call them, or the return of the gods, is what Jonathan Kahn calls in his book, which I firmly believe, something I've studied for years on, um, and I believe today they're doing the same thing. There is nothing new under the sun. But when it comes to the US, the US has been a light over so many years in terms of evangelizing and getting the message out. But when you see the statistic of what's happening there, it's even worse. Have a listen to what John MacArthur says. In our world, we're slaughtering between 50 and 60 million babies a year. In the United States, um, on record, is 1.5 million abortions a year. Every third baby conceived is murdered in the womb. 4,000 a day plus, 170 an hour. Planned Parenthood alone kills one every 95 seconds. The um, Physicians Association of Planned Parenthood released this statement, quote, abortion is a treatment for unwanted pregnancy, the second sexually transmitted disease. Pregnancy is a sexually transmitted disease. Our nation and others are murdering a whole generation of humans in mass infanticide that was legalized in January of 1973 by the Roe versus Wade decision made by a non-righteous group of people on the Supreme Court. Now 43 percent of all women have an abortion and 47 percent of abortions are repeats. It's legal to do to a child what you might be arrested for doing to a cat or a dog or certainly an eagle. 
if we have any sense of justice, if we have any sense of righteousness, if we, if we want to make a little bit of a voice heard about what is right and about the role of government being to punish evildoers and protect the people who do right, then we better step up. I'm not sure what God has in the future, but I do know we can take His side and give Him honor. To me, it is ironic that those who pride themselves on defending the rights of the weak murder them in the womb when they are the most weak. What kind of hypocrisy is that? You know, to keep this simple, when we look at prophecy, we kind of go to the default, the things of the likes of the wars, as I said at the start, and all of these types of signs that we can physically see. But when it comes to how society is going to be, we're really seeing that it's starting to actually happen today. The days of Noah, there was things happening um, were, that were so strange. Genesis 6, it just goes into, you know, unprecedented territory. And I truly believe, I've, it's something that I've studied for many years, and I believe what's happening then, what happened then is happening today. There's nothing new under the sun, nothing surprises God. But we can see that people, humans, don't learn. We keep going back to the old ways. And like Jonathan said, and, and when I watched the full cast of that, the full podcast, you know, when the house is empty, when it gets red, when we took God out of schools and out of the homes and out of the kids, something else will fill that void. And I believe that this is a major sign to show us the times are escalating towards what we call the crescendo, the return of Christ, the end of the end. And when you put that together with the main timeline, which is Israel, we see things are escalating and getting very, very close. We as believers have, a, have a, an obligation to make sure we keep on sharing the gospel. Yes, there is so much darkness in the world in so many different varieties and forms, but we still have to be ready in and out of season to share the gospel, the truth that Jesus Christ saves today just as much as he did when he was on the earth physically, that he lived, that he died, and more importantly, he rose again, the very foundation of our system in terms of Christianity, that you can be saved now. Even though there's chaos that goes on in the world, remember, God is always in control and keep the faith.